It's not every game where you can just push W in a Schlieffen and it's going to work out. A lot of times you're going to get outspotted, torpedoed to death, or you're just going to get focused down by a ton of HE pressure. But Hotspot is very unique, especially in ranked. This is a ranked game after all. And this specific push kind of nicely times out with our torpedoes loading. So we've taken a little bit of time to get to this position. That's one of the downsides of this push. It almost gives up most map control early on. But this aggressive hard push here is very, very doable in a Schlieffen because you're so quick. And you can see this little cove or shelf uh, of islands in front of us. That's kind of what I'm aiming for to protect myself a little bit if there's going to be anyone on the 9-10 lines. But we catch a Montana and <laughs> Schlieff and secondaries are going to absolutely rip him up. In fact, the vast majority of our damage this game will come from our secondaries. And if you look at the timestamp on the video, you're going to notice this video isn't very long. And for good reason. We're going to die soon. But we're going to get a lot of damage before we do. <laughs> this is a game I played actually last patch. And I just didn't end up making a video on it yet. And while going through my hard drive of old recorded games, I thought I had to put this up. It's just so fun. So here, we still do have the bugged out secondary and auxiliary armaments. So our torpedoes aren't going to die. They will now. Uh, but you're going to see later on, we don't actually get too much use out of our torps after our first couple launches anyway. But this is an older patch. Something I am considering, maybe let me know in the comments below what you think, is making a video of all the best parts of the games I had that patch and just going over those really good ones. It wouldn't be like a traditional montage type thing with music. I would probably commentate over it. That's generally my strength, I would say, as a content creator. So I think that could be fun um, because I do have quite a few games that just don't quite end up making into a video as we get absolutely punched by this Montana. That's one of the big issues with Schlieffen I've found. It takes a ton of damage or none at all. It's really weird. And it seems like, yeah, see, none at all from the G. It is a GK, so to be fair, it's really weak. So. Maybe not the best example comparing Montana to GK, but it's a weird situation where I feel like I'm either taking 15, 20 K doesn't really matter the angle or nothing. This GK is getting unlucky on dispersion or just missing here, but giving too much broadside enough broadside to get your rear 360 degree turret shooting. You can see it kind of has to lift up over that random pedestal there. I don't know why that's there, but if you're shooting your rear turret, you're probably going to get nuked like I just did. And here's the unfortunate bit. Our torpedoes look like they're loading, but it's actually our left side torps that end up loading before our right side ones because we use them first. So we can't actually torpedo this GK. I swapped my secondaries over to the Hindenburg, and that is very intentional. I, at this range, know I'm going to hit basically everything on the GK, and it's probably going to hit his armor belt. So with a little worse dispersion, we might hit up into a superstructure, and we know we're going to do good damage to the Hindenburg. Um, so here we're on 13, 14,000 HP, probably get up to 15 or 16,000 with a couple heal ticks. And this time we're re well angled to a GK, and he just kills us outright from 15k HP. It's a weird ship, but a ton of fun. And that was 213,000 damage, if you can believe it. Schlieffen really is hilarious and made for these close range, one side isolated pushes where in ranked battles, it can definitely win you the game. Of course, we had a bunch of help on this one from our Yu Yang. Actually, probably our Yu Yang carried that one, let's be honest, on that base XP. But look at that secondary damage. 106 raw and then 48 yet from some fires and some floodings. Auxiliary armaments on the Schlieffen really are the scariest part. The build on the Schlieffen really hasn't changed too much at all. We're still running full secondary build, even with IFHE. What has changed, though, is when I'm playing the ship. And I play this ship really only in special circumstances, whether someone requests it on stream or 
I find myself able to play ranked and know that I'm not really going to face too many super ships and that the map pool is favorable for a close range brawler like this. I tend not to play in randoms as much because there's not as many situations, especially with super ships in random battles now, where you can push relatively freely. It's often a death sentence to push, and since the guns really aren't that great on this ship, you're really reliant on that close range secondary torpedo strength. The guns aren't bad, but they're nowhere near as good as any of the other tier 10 battleships. So that's why I'm being a little bit more choosy in where I play this ship and when I play it. Rather than switching up the build to try and make it a hybrid battle cruiser type ship. But then I may as well just go play a Borgone or something like that and have a much better time. So that's the short, quick Schlieffen game. Just push W in ranked and good things happen. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.